A very important scientific project is taking place throughout Europe. It could change the world. The objective is to make tiny, tiny little computer parts the size of molecules. It would be revolutionary and could lead to advancements in the fight against disease, research and communication. This revolution will uh, enable us to make electronic circuits in completely new ways, to integrate them in uh, newspapers or on t-shirts and eventually to make uh, electronic components based on single molecules. The project, called SINGLE, is coordinated from the Nano Science Centre, University of Copenhagen, and is a collaboration between European universities and companies. Research groups from Delft, Mons, Copenhagen, IBM Zurich and Chalmers are taking part in the project. The aim is to find out how individual molecules can be used as base elements in electronic circuits. We are talking about taking just as revolutionary a leap as it has been going from the first slow computers in the 1980s to the powerful machines we have today. We will, for example, be able to use microcomputers to operate on sick people and cure them. Or, on the slightly more coloured end, we could see TV on our clothes. But it is one thing to have big goals, but quite another to realise them, as the research to be done is very complicated. The single project covers virgin land where nobody uh, has really uh, been before. Single came into existence against the background of a discovery made by Professor Thomas Bjornholm and colleagues back in 2003. They explained how they managed to make molecular transistors in the renowned journal Nature. The process is long. It can take years to go from an idea to developing it among the researchers until the final results can be measured. My plan is uh, to uh, design an entirely new molecule with electrodes built into it. And the idea is to have uh, LUMO levels that align with gold and then an isolated island with a donor level in the middle. Oh. Uh, so this is what we're going to investigate? Yes, and I hope uh, that you're able to uh, prepare that molecule in a synthetic lab and then uh, take it down to, uh, to our partners in uh, Delft or Ruslikon and uh, get some good measurements. Postdoc Kasper Moth Polson and colleagues at the University of Copenhagen immediately set to work on the task. They know that it will take many more attempts before they succeed in creating the best molecule. We're making this uh, today. We'll make this uh, oligophenylalanine. and vinylene. The researchers have three years to do the basic scientific research on how one uses individual molecules in electronic circuits. This, together with existing knowledge, could lead to a whole new way of making electronics. The last 10 years has shown that it's possible to replace traditional silicon in electronic components with polymers or plastic, single mo or molecules. At the end of that new development, uh, lies the possibility to actually build an electronic device on a single molecule and that's the holy grail of the entire field. Because that's the ultimate limit of uh, downsizing electronic circuits. As winter becomes summer, Kasper Moth Poulsen is finally ready with his molecule. To begin with, he will test it at the University of Copenhagen, where he will get the first indication of whether it has succeeded and Casper is satisfied with the results so far, which indicate that the new molecules are electrically conductive. But in order to find this out, he sets out on a journey. He travels to Zurich in Switzerland, where IBM's research group in nanotechnology is located. This would be an interesting day. Uh, I'm curious to see how the instruments work and uh, if we are able to measure on a single molecule. Hi. The equipment used at IBM is state-of-the-art. The two researchers immediately set to work testing Casper's molecules in order to find out whether the last six months have been wasted or whether the single project has made headway. The last 40 years of development in computers has been driven forward by new technological possibilities. An absolutely central thing has been the ability to make things smaller and smaller. It drives the whole industry and in a couple of years Right, uh, how it's done today will come to an end. So we have to be prepared with new technologies for the next 20 to 30 years. 
and molecular electronics is considered as one possible candidate for driving the miniaturization further. Then it goes down, it forms this plateau here, then it goes further down till it closes here. So as you see here in this histogram, we have a clear peak at around 0.5 times g naught, and this is roughly speaking the conductance of the molecule. Okay, so that's uh, quite a large conductivity for... Uh... It's a surprisingly high conductance. Yeah, yeah. With the inspiring results, Kasper now travels home to Copenhagen, where he presents them to Professor Thomas Bjornholm. What we have been observing the last uh, six months is uh, that from the break junction measurements, this, we have this uh, very high conductivity around uh, 0 0.5 g naught. Six months have now passed since the two researchers first sat down to discuss what they should do. Today, the results, which are an important step on the road to the development of the computer of the future, will be presented at the International Thank you Nano very much Day. For coming. It's a great honor for me to be here and tell about our most recent work. I think it's fair to say that uh, the area of single molecule electronics has reached a stage where we understand many of the details of how electrons pass through a single molecule that is trapped in a gap between metal electrodes. My dream with the single project is to produce a real breakthrough for the field of molecular electronics. A true breakthrough would be to design molecules that basically by themselves hook up to electrodes so that you get very stable and reproducible results on which you can build real applications. The work of understanding the transport of electrons through individual molecules and the development of molecular electronics towards practical applications continues as a collaboration between physicists, chemists, theorists and nanotechnologists at the University of Copenhagen, Chalmers Technische Hochschule AB, Technische Universität Delft, IBM Research GmbH and Universite de Mons Hainaut.